Hey everybody, I'm Art, N0EX. We're gonna talk a little bit more about direction finding today. We're gonna to talk about something new that I found. It's really not new, it's probably been out for six months, but I've recently found out about it, ordered it, tested it, and it's it's an answer to what we talk about, what we what we talk about and what, what makes direction finding hard is when you get really close to the transmitter. We've talked about ways to knock that signal down, like carrying along a switched attenuator or adding in a mixed attenu a mixer attenuator in line where you can have a control and you can uh, knock down that signal by tuning your radio off frequency. Uh, we've talked about sniffers to use when you get really close and, and the radio is overpowered by that amount of RF. Um, we've talked about tuning off frequency. So those are some answers to help you with that fix when you're really close. Remember that the, the signal strength of your or the the way your signal strength meter on your radio operates it's 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 kind of a narrow uh, band like a 30 db dynamic range that that really go from like no signal uh to a, to a max signal that it shows you but we really need when we're direction finding something uh, to show us a wider dynamic range like on the order of 100 db so if we had a receiver or a, a radio that has that we could maybe you know not use that mixing attenuator or the switch attenuator, not have to tune off frequency, not play these games. Well, here it is. Uh, so this is called the Quan Shang UV-K5. Also, the UV-K6 is a slightly newer model. And this radio, the interesting thing about this radio is it. Um, it's kind of like open firmware. So there's, uh, you know, radio hackers, smart software people, a lot smarter than me, that are modifying the firmware on this radio. One of the mods they made is to show the RSSI, the Receive Signal Strength Indicator, on the display. So you do need a firmware mod to enable this. But then you're going to have uh, some numbers on your display show up anywhere from like minus 110 or so when there's like no signal or very tiny signal all the way up to, I think it maxes out at uh, a positive seven. So uh, so you don't need to use your mixing attenuator or your switched attenuator. You don't need to take the antenna off. You don't need to tune off frequency. That number gives you a very wide uh, receive signal strength indication. So put your tape measure beam on, you know, enable that uh, mode and uh, go direction finding. So I've tested this out in the yard and uh, I've walked right up to my one watt transmitter uh, and it, it peaked out at 007, but I was, I was essentially you know 10 feet away from the transmitter and I could still DF right up to it. So if you, are, uh, if you do have to DF to a higher power transmitter, maybe like a mobile rig at 20 watts or something, this is all you would need. Stick this BNC uh, 30 dB attenuator, I would recommend 20, 30 dB, maybe even 40. Just just stick that in when you get close, and um, when you're up at when you're peaking at zero seven, stick something like that in, and you'll be able to get even closer to that transmitter. So um, I'm gonna try and do a little demo for you. Um, that's coming up, um, but I think this is a great answer for um, a cheap answer. It's like a Balfang radio. It's like thirty thirty five dollars, and uh, you can get that RSSI, and uh, you don't need any of that other equipment. So uh, you can also lock transmit mode off, so you can hand this to uh, kids, Boy Scouts, people new at ham radio. They're not going to self, they're not going to get themselves in trouble by putting it in transmit mode. So it's an easy answer. Tape measure beam, Quan Chang uh, UVK6, and your direction finding. So let's watch the video, and then I'll do a quick little wrap up. All right, we're going to do a little demo of the Quan Shang UV-K6. Um, my wife is hitting the transmitter out here. She says within about 100 yards. So we're already at a point where we're going to have some very high signal strength. So we're going to try and show you as much as I can uh, the RSSI meter on the radio as I swing the beam. All right, here we are. I'm going to swing the beam. If you look at that number on the left-hand side, middle of the screen, 21, 20, 19, minus 14, minus 12, 
What do we got here? Minus 10. Okay, it's minus 9. Minus 10. So I've got the direction, you know, generalized, and we'll walk that way. All right, here we're going to make another bearing. I'm going to read off the numbers. I got uh, minus 12, minus 8, minus 6, minus 8, and uh, now no signal. So, so uh, we're looking over this way again, so we'll keep moving. All right, one note on using the uh, UV-K6 and the RSSI indicator on it. It's a little bit of a slow response. Um, watch the indication on the display. You'll have to swing the beam fairly slow. There's maybe a half a second or a second delay for the reading to be updated on the display. It's not quite instantaneously like, like a sniffer giving you the audio tone, uh, but you can, you can figure out where your highest, uh, highest signal level is pretty easy. All right, here we are. We're getting pretty close. The number is, uh, so we're maxed out at seven now in this area. And, but I can, I can swing the beam around to the side and we can lower that number. And then if I point it away, I can get in the negative number. So we know that the uh, transmitter is this direction. So it's actually right over there in the grass. We're essentially right on top of the transmitter. All right, there's some info on the Quan Chang uh, UV K5 and K6 and, and a little demo. I hope that gives you a feel for uh, what you're going to see with that RSSI indicator and how it's going to work. Swing your beam to the, uh, you know, essentially the highest number and, uh, you know, walk that direction. So it, it, it's cool because you don't necessarily have to have those other add-on items, those other attenuators. And so it's less stuff to carry, less stuff to adjust, uh, less stuff to, you know, have powered on and in the connection. So I think it's a real um, cool, um, usable simplification of equipment to direction finding, especially for newcomers, especially for kids. So if this uh, interests you, um, I've got some links below to uh, where you would go for the firmware mod. And, um, you know, like, share, um, subscribe. I um, hope to uh, keep bringing you, uh, I think, uh, important information like this uh, for uh, direction finding. I think this could be a real, a real game changer for beginner hunters and uh, for people that want to keep the price uh, low and not have to purchase a lot of equipment or carry extra equipment when they're out there direction finding. So, Thanks for watching. Sorry it got so long, but I had to a lot I wanted to explain. Stop by again to uh, my videos at RDF Fun. Thanks.